Also, um, one other thing I was going to bring up and stuff. Let me start over. That was a blooper. Yeah, it's been raining like crazy. It is messy, muddy. Watch where you step, it's gonna step in mud. Where there's pretty much been sucky for the past week or so. Almost a week and a half now, maybe two weeks. Haven't seen the sun about as long as that. <laughs> well, let's get some stuff done. Hey! Welcome back to my channel. Um, not too sure I'm going to get any racing in this weekend. Uh, probably seen the opening video. It's kind of wet out there. And today's Friday. It's pretty much been rainy all week long. Um, supposed to be racing tomorrow over in uh, up here in Tulsa. And it's really iffy. It's about a 70% chance of rain tomorrow. Uh, it's been raining off and on. Light rain all day today. Um, I just don't see it's going to happen. Um, in fact, it's <laughs> raining again out there. Light mist. And it's what's been doing all day, pretty much all week. We'll get heavy rains, light rains, you name it. It's been messy. So, uh, right now, I don't think I'm going to be going out there. Uh, car's pretty much ready to go. Uh... We flushed out the alcohol system on it, took the carburetor off, got everything cleaned up. It's all ready to go down the track. Uh, did a little bit of maintenance inside of the car, got things a little bit nicer looking. But man, uh, really wanted to go racing this weekend. Uh, it'll be two weekends in a row, have not raced. So we got a big Memorial Day race weekend coming up uh, next weekend. Uh, two days of racing, so I'm looking forward to that hopefully that looks good so far it's looking better but man uh but this week is pretty much a washout so uh just have to wait and see what happens but anyway got some stuff to do around in the shop i got the trailer to get all cleaned up went through the rainstorm i think you've seen in my other video uh, i need to get that sucker cleaned up at least making sure it's looking good uh car's pretty much ready to go we'll probably put the car in the trailer so it's it's out of the way out of the shop stuff in case we have to do any maintenance on our cars and stuff so uh anyway uh let's go ahead and get started maybe get this thing loaded up get the trailer cleaned up and all that stuff but right now it's raining so i don't even want to pull the trailer outside so maybe if it stops here for a little we'll put it out if not maybe tomorrow <laughs> who knows so anyway uh let's get started some just Peeling stuff around here in the shop here. Some stuff to do in the trailer. And uh, see where it leads from there. Video might, video might be short this time. So anyway, here we go. Now what I'm getting ready to do back here. Um, I know some of my in-car camera videos as the camera points to the back of the car. This here is kind of painted the color. Went and just painted that kind of a flat black. Uh, maybe I should have some carpet on it. I don't know. <laughs> Like I said, this is not a show car by no means, uh, but I'm trying to make it look a little bit better. So maybe someday I'll get some black carpet and lay up there and stick down on it and all that stuff. Uh, plus it has some little bit of loose wire just hanging back here that runs back here. So basically I'm just kind of dressing up a little bit. Bought some uh, wire loom or wire wrap. This plastic tube and stuff. I'm going to go ahead and just get on here, make it look... Let, let it look a little bit better than it does right now. So, but anyway, it's just little things like that. This needs to be taken care of and stuff like that. But, like I said, this is not a show car by no means. Uh, it's strictly set up for racing. Uh, does the job very well. So, anyway, let me get that stuck on there. Hopefully, look a little bit better. So, anyway, there. It's all back and installed and all that good stuff. So, anyway. It looks a lot better than just the wires hanging down, all right? Uh, the other thing I need to get fixed, actually, my helmet. Um, I'm not sure if everybody noticed this or not, but we have a uh, an antenna on the car. But basically, I have a radio in the car. And uh, I actually have a radio in my headset. That's a radio we use. Uh, it's, it's a 
nice two-way radio i can hear my dad talking the radio i can talk to him as well um anyway the headset went out in my uh, helmet and uh might show you how i put a headset in the helmet be something cool to see uh show you what the headset we have for the helmet or for the headset for my dad um it's pretty cool uh give me a second here i'll show you excuse the mess i got stuff Anyway, what I got for him, he also has a radio. Uh, plugs in. Then what I did, I took a, uh, these are noise cancellation, noise cancellation head, uh, you know, ear muffs, or you want to call them. Um, then I stuck speakers inside of here. Then have a mic. That he uses it's just kind of velcroed on okay uh velcro is getting worn out but anyway uh so he has this on his head here i'll put it on I'll show you what it looks like <laughs> kind of goofy but uh it plugs into the radio like this okay and then from there um i think he just i think he uses the button on the side of the the radio to communicate with me Okay, so uh, it's a good way to stay in contact with him. Uh, sometimes uh, he sees stuff, or you know, or if I'm sitting in the staging lane, let's say, and all of a sudden the track shuts down, uh, it's a good way to um, say, Hey, what's going on up there? You know, time to get out of the car or something like that. So it's a cool way to keep uh, keep in communication, what's going on on the track, and all that good stuff. So, uh, if you don't have someone, you know, to talk to or something like that, kind of on your own, you kind of want to, you know, then you have to figure out yourself, unbuckle all the car and all that stuff. So, uh, but anyway, it's a good way to stay in contact. But I do have the same headset that's in my helmet, and it needs to be replaced. The mic actually went out on it, so uh, I'll probably show you how I put it in my helmet because I have to rip the old one out, put the new one in. So that'd be a cool little thing in case anybody wants to do something like that for their own racing team and stuff like that. So uh, anyway, uh, with that, uh, let's go ahead and continue on getting the stuff cleaned up and fixed. So. Yep, it's charging. <laughs> Haven't put it on the charger since the last race, so we decided to go ahead and just charge it up and at least get that taken care of. Uh, but, uh, now we got lots, lots of stuff done around the shop today. Um, didn't really show you too much with the shop, uh, what I've did and stuff like that. But, um, no, like I said, I mean, cleaned up the back of this, got the wire loom, got all that taken care of, made it look a little bit better. Uh, did some maintenance on the trailer. We got our, uh, tire spare tire went and got that mounted back up so uh we had a problem getting this tire out with the car in here we had a stud coming out when we took the, the stud off we couldn't get the tire out because the car was right here so we actually put a we redid it and actually made that bracket where there's a nut on the end we put the bolt through this way so all we have to do is undo this bolt and the tire right you know roll right on out so Anyway, so a little bit of improvement on there. Didn't think I ever I had to put a spare in this, you know, on this trailer, on the t you know, spare tire on the trailer, but uh, we did. At least it was there. Um, so we got that taken care of. We had a uh, sewage pipe. It's from our black water tank up here. Actually, was leaking. <laughs> Not good. If you like uh, smell pee and stuff. But anyway. We had a pipe up here. It was actually leaking a little bit. Uh, let's see if I can show you. Anyway, uh, we've got it all sealed up now and stuff like that. Got some good black RTV in there. Hopefully that will prevent it from leaking again. Um, but yeah, no, we just had kind of have a uh, nice little uh, work day up here in the shop. Get some maintenance items that need to be done before our big Mocan uh, Memorial Day weekend race coming up. So we'll make sure we have everything ready to go up there and have no issues and stuff like that. So anyway, so we got a lot of the maintenance stuff done. Still got to get my helmet set up and that's what's be coming next. So uh, let's get the things wrapped up up here 
get down the house and I'll show you how to put a radio headset in a helmet. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started with that. Here we go. As you can tell, it's a Saturday, it's still wet. Races are canceled for today at Tulsa. So anyway, we got a uh, helmet to work on today. So let's get started. Okay, what we have here is the headset that I'm going to put in to my helmet there, okay? Um, but basically what this is, this is a headset that you can buy to put it in a helmet, like a motorcycle helmet where people want to talk on a two-way radio or something like that, okay? This is where this actually comes from, okay? Um, and I'm going to actually put in my helmet. As you can tell, I already took my other one out and this is why it's kind of all tore up and stuff like this i use uh hot glue to glue it in place and all that good stuff but uh so what i'm gonna go ahead and do i'm gonna go ahead and put this guy into the helmet and get it all set up and ready for the next race coming up so anyway let me uh give you an idea of how to put it in here and how you route it along the side here and all that good stuff too okay this wires goes in around here these are actually into your earpiece slots here so anyway, uh, let me get the going here and I'll show you the steps. Okay, you are going to need like a flat blade screwdriver, come, you know, with a nice little tip on it. The other thing you're going to need is a hot glue gun, okay? You can get these down to your local craft place or something like that. Uh, Walmart might have it, I can't remember where you got these. But anyway, you're going to need a hot glue gun and a bunch of glue sticks, okay? Get it plugged in here and get it really good and warm and uh, you're going to need this to keep the wires from coming out up around here okay so okay the other thing to look at is when you lay this out there are different length wires for each ear so it, ma it so it matters where you want the when you have the cord coming out which side is the short side versus the long side okay and they'll make more sense here in a little bit but anyway uh typically on my helmet the uh the out or this part of it here where you plug it into the radio is going to be on this side of the helmet. So that means there's a cord or two cords going to be wrapping around here. One earpiece will come around here, go down here, and the microphone will continue on up around here, up to here. Okay. And the shorter one uh, earpiece is actually going to be right down in here. So anyway, there's something to consider what side you want the exit to come on, depends on which way it gets routed. Okay. So let me go ahead and get started. Okay, these have actually a 3M adhesive, cells adhesive on it. So it's it's actually the Velcro part of it. But all you do is kind of take this adhesive off, and uh, there we go. Okay, got it coming off. Okay, kind of sticky there. And you, what you want to do? So if I get a plug in here, oops. You want to get this cord coming out. There's a gap right here, okay? You want the cord to come through here. So take your strap blade there and just stick the earpiece there in the in there. Here, I'll show you close up. Okay. Okay, you can see it's right in there. Okay. So this is the short short side, okay? So then what you want to do next, you're going to take the microphone and the other earpiece. It's going to get routed along here, the microphone way up here. So let me get that, show you, show you how to route all this stuff and how to get it tucked in there. So the first thing you want to do is, is go ahead and get the microphone mounted down here. Okay. Let's kind of get the cable where it's kind of pointing this way. Okay. Or maybe right up there. Hang on. We're kind of pointed up there. There we go. Okay. There we go. Then what you want to do to start with, you want to go ahead and, and uh, start tucking the wire in between the helmet and the foam pad. Okay. So you kind of just start tucking it in here like this. And you continue this all the way around the helmet. Okay. Then what we'll do, we'll take some uh, hot glue here, because sometimes it wants to come out, and you want to hold it in place. So typically I'll 
I'll get some glue and just to hold it there in place. Okay. This way, um, it doesn't try to come out the helmet and from there. So let me go ahead and get all this tucked around here and I'll show you that. Then we have to get the other earpiece in here as well. So just bear with me and I'll get that set up here in a second. So once again, um, you can see, oh, kind of hard to see that way. There we go. You can tell it's uh, right here. Okay, and the cord's coming out here. So the next challenge is to get all this cord looking nice and kind of tucked away so you don't have a lot of cord hanging out. So not, I'll show you how I get all that set up too. So that would be coming next. Okay, I'm starting to tuck all the wires in behind the uh, the padding here. And there's just barely enough room to get two sets of wires all the way around. Okay. And what eventually what's going to end up happening is thing's going to keep trying to pull itself out. Okay. And that's where the hot glue comes in. So once you get some of it tucked in what you want to go ahead and do is get some hot glue to keep it from moving around you might have to wait just a little bit for that thing to set up because if not the wire still wants to pull out and all that good stuff then eventually you're going to get all the way around to here to the end so as you can see i'm going to still have some wire left over and what you want to do is take some of this wire and just tuck it in this crack here and it won't affect your ear or the hearing and any of that stuff, but it'll just sit here in this crack between the uh, the foam cushion here and on your side where the I guess your cheeks are at. There's enough cavity there you can just tuck all the wires in there. So so let me go ahead and get all this stuff set up and glued in place, and it should be ready to go. And uh, we'll go ahead and try to get tested out, make sure it works. So okay. As you can tell now, I got most of the wire tucked in. I'm already putting some of the glue in place, the hot glue in place. And I'll just run a good bead of it up around here. And I don't want this wire coming out at all. So I'm kind of generous on the glue. Hopefully you never have to replace it because it is a, a bear to get out. Uh, there's a lot of cutting involved with a... a a raised blade okay uh we got it all in place now okay it's still still drying a little bit on the hot glue and uh it is still sticky so i'm just gonna go ahead and let this thing cure on out before i get it all tested and all that stuff but we tested the headset before we plugged it in the radio or before we put it in the helmet so i'm pretty sure that uh it's gonna work and stuff like that so Anyway, uh, with that, I'm about done with projects here. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm about done with projects here in the shop and stuff. Uh, pretty much a rained out day. Um, it's still kind of cloudy out there. It's not going to clear up anytime soon. It's been raining off and on all day today. But hopefully, hopefully, if everything's go good. We'll get this guy up in Mocan for the uh, Memorial Day weekend. Two days of racing. I'm looking forward to it. We'll be going up there Friday night. Uh, have a race on Saturday, a race on Sunday. I'll be double it, or not doubled. I'll be uh, entering in two classes, Super Pro and No E. Definitely on Saturday. Sunday, might just do a No E type stuff. I uh, haven't already decided. Depends how good I do on Saturday, I guess. Depends if I'm going to go ahead and buy it back in on Super Pro. But anyway... Um, but definitely going to run a lot of passes on this guy over the weekend. So uh, look forward to those videos coming out, uh, hopefully in the following week. So uh, then after that, I think uh, I have to check my check schedule, but I think we have a few other races come up here in early June. Anyway, uh, hope uh, you like what you see. I uh, didn't have a lot of content this time around, but uh, hey, I had to get something out. I just want to make sure I'm staying in contact with all my subscribers and stuff and what's been going on around the shop, the race car, around the property and all that good stuff. So anyway, uh, with that, uh, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that little dingy bopper. I don't know what you call it, a little bell, I guess it is. That alerts you when a new video coming out. And I release videos every Sunday at 10 a.m. So look forward to that. Uh, but with that, I'm out of here. See you next time. And uh, hopefully we're racing. So hope we get some good racing videos coming up. So anyway, I'm out of here.